Hello. Welcome to another video of Dia Portal. In this video, we will create star delta starter using function block. Function blocks are code blocks that store their inputs, outputs and in-out parameters permanently in instance data blocks, so that they remain available even after the block has been executed. Function blocks can be called several times at different points in a program. Function blocks simplify programming of frequently recurring functions. First, create a project and select CPU and add DI slash DQ module. In the DI slash DQ module, you can change its I.O. addresses in the properties. We will create an I.O. list referring to the physical start, and stop inputs, and contactor outputs. Normal addressing rules to be followed. Now, create a function block and start writing code. Enter inputs details under the list input and contactor outputs under the list output. Star Delta Starter uses a timer to function. So we will use a timer named under the list static. The data type for timer is IEC underscore timer. In the network 1. Start writing program as per the logic. Add on delay timer. D on 2. Start delta contactor after a delay time. Save and compile it. This function block can be used several times without writing codes every time. We will latch our start circuit by using contacts main, so that it will remain on after the button is released. Make branches after the stop button. For star and delta contacts. Enter an on delay timer D on. It will energize the delta coil after preset time of 18 seconds.
When delta coil is energized, the star coil must be de-energized. For this, we will use delta coil NC contact to de-energize the star coil. In main, RB1. Call the function block FB1, to use it in main program. As we call this function, a call option will pop up, and its data will be stored in different DB. Name it motor1db. A programming block will appear in the network one. Enter start, stop, main, star, and delta as per the program addresses. Save and compile it. Start simulation and monitor variables. Add variables in the sim table 1 and PLC sim. Using PLC SIM, you can simulate your CPU programs on a virtual controller. You do not need any real controllers for this. From there, you can run your program logic, observe the effects of simulated inputs and outputs and adapt your programs. List your program IOs and their addresses in SIM table 1. Make sure you type name and address is same as the one saved in CPU.
In PLC SIM, modify motor one stop is true. As we click on motor 1 start, main and star coil will energize and timer will start. After the preset time of 18 seconds, star coil will be off, and delta coil will be on. We will use this function block for controlling another motor. Start writing I.O. addresses for motor 2 and I.O. list, and follow the addressing rules. In the main OB1, call FB1 in the network 2. As we call FB1, it will create another DB in the program. Let's name it Motor2DB. All parameters relating to Motor2 will be stored in this DB. Enter start, stop, main, star and delta as per the program addresses. Save and compile it. Motor 2 operation can be simulated in the PLC sim. Enter Motor 2 parameters in sim table 2. And check operation by modifying inputs.
we can monitor current values of parameters in the DB of the respective motor. Open Motor 2 DB and click on Monitor. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe for more updates.